Hi, I'm the Bald Biker, and currently I'm standing in front of a house that I do not own. Drinking at the bottle, not thinking about tomorrow. Don't worry, that's a motto, so we keep moving along. Okay, so the first area we're going to start is just the closest. It's not necessarily the highest end, but it's pretty darn sweet. And that's the Laura Bay Foundation uh, Estates. And uh, this is along the shores of Georgian Bay. You can see they have their own golf course and, of course, the waterfront as well. So, so these are pretty nice. This is, this is the Laura Bay area. And... Uh, Kaninsk likes driving around these kind of neighborhoods. She just likes the neighborhood. She likes kind of feeling like, oh, here we are on our fancy bike and we're just touring through the rich people neighborhood because we're one of, one of the wealthy elite echelons in our area. And we just, I guess she feels like it looks like we belong or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, it is nice. Um, you know, there's different things you can enjoy looking at when you're touring around you know some people oh, so we like to walk around graveyards for the historical effect and uh, another thing we like to do is drive around and look at nice houses and I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that the recent housing crisis that just happened after COVID in Canada, the cost of all these houses more than doubled. So when they first came in, you know, these were selling for like $750. And now they're they're upwards of $2 million plus. So we decided to stop at a at a convenience store just to get a little little drink. We just wanted a, a cool drink, just something to refresh us before we go to the next area. So what I thought we would do is, since we're celebrating the wealthy and the elite, we would get the most expensive ice cream in the world. So we got a Hagen Dazs. Whoa! <laughs> there it is. And that sucker, that little ice cream bar was like six bucks. 
didn't know. No, she didn't know. I just threw it on the counter. I didn't know either. Okay, so for our next area, we're into the real hood now. Just a hood, man. You grew up in the hood, you knew how to face life. You knew how to... Nobody deals no shit when they grow up in the hood. Gators say, no way, once you've been in the hood. This is Bruce Key George. There's some nice places. Poor defense it spreads up here. Pretty nice. You can see this but that is the guest home and the real house which you probably won't even see on the GoPro is way back there and it's about four times as big as that guest home and this place I don't know if it still is but it was owned by the owner of the big ski resort Georgia Peaks and I don't know they probably sold it by now but just to give you an idea and because of his place, that caused high land value for these areas. There are you go, and don't you chase. And so, some nice homes got built back in here as well. Is that a walking trail? <laughs> Hard to say. Probably private knowing this area. You have some guy with his dogs walking back there saying, You must leave the property or you shall forthwith be trespassed. Yeah, this is kind of the area I was thinking too. These are all pretty sweet. Right across from the Scandinavian Spa. But these are the properties that are super nice. And what's really nice is like these homes have character. They're not just matchbox houses, they're not just cookie cutter houses. You know, every home has its own design, its own character, its own landscaping design, it's it it, it has individuality. And that's what's really nice about them too. Fancy. So, like I said, Kayla just loves to ride around these upper echelon neighborhoods. She gets a kick out of it, what can I say? So that's what we do. We cruise. I hope my bike isn't too cheap for this area. <laughs> Corgi! <laughs> and then these houses were built here a few years ago. 
and like they're big and they're huge but I, I can't really figure out what's the deal because it they're so open it's, it just looks like it just looks like they stuck them in a field it looks it seems to me very unnatural just this great big monstrosity houses and I don't know maybe it's because there's no trees or anything it was just a field you know one time this was just a farmer's field and they just stuck these houses on it on a corner and they're big no doubt but it's just like the property doesn't look nice like the, the land doesn't I don't know like this guy's put a lot of trees and stuff here so he's working on it and maybe eventually when all this stuff grows it'll look better but yeah I don't know just too open they're still working on it see some new ones going in already so if everybody's broken lining up at the food banks why are so many people buying these Means I could be doing a real estate video. It's a good place to come practice your U turns. I don't know. We're just driving by, looking at all the fancy houses, and we see this horse standing in the field. And there's apparently, so we had to go check it out. Why is that horse just standing there looking at us? Now you get closer to it, it's like, okay, I get it. But that's pretty amazing, eh? And they put him in the Parkland and Sanctuary. Did he look solid enough to get on him? <laughs> we have a pig. <laughs> just sitting in, the, sitting in the rocks. I'm a pig. What are you doing and I'm here? I'm just sitting in the rocks. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, this is the bald biker about to get on his iron horse. <laughs> this is my iron horse. Oh my god.